Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Green Family Legacy, the eco-firm season, where we are at a karaoke bar in the middle of a immense thunderstorm with Fern Green, who, you know, really thought that today might have to be one of her very last days here in Evergreen Harbor, and instead, she finds herself somewhere she never thought she'd be. I mean, there's actually drinks back there on the wall. What would her mom say and, and a karaoke bar like she's way too shy to be here but instead not only is she here she's actually having a great time she's feeling extremely confident because she's hanging out with her friends she actually has a great atmosphere bo boost from being over here uh, perhaps it's because Jean has now reached level three singing he can now sing country songs and duet jazz songs on the karaoke karaoke machine and can sing pop songs via the piano guitar and or my Microphone. He's now able to sing pop songs by clicking on himself and collecting sing song. Jean can also be romantic with other sims by serenading them. <gasps> That's so cute! Our boy Jean has just been having a great time uh, going ahead and let's try it for your love. He's just been having a great time singing his heart out and having a ball doing it. Uh, but I need to explain why the heck we're here you guys. So. We're actually over in another part of Evergreen Harbor right now. Uh, this is actually a different neighborhood than usual. It is the, mm, I can't remember what this neighborhood's called. Quickly, we need to investigate. All right, so this is actually the Conifer Station neighborhood. What happens when the trains stop running? Downtown Evergreen, affectionately known uh, to locals as Conifer Station, may be a bit quieter nowadays, but residents will tell you that defunct the defunct train station and unsightly storage tanks hide a hardworking community eager to improve their little corner of the world. Oh, and then how we, oh, we're no longer like bad. Over here, we're actually doing better on having a neutral eco footprint. Yes. But uh, we're visiting our wonderful new karaoke bar because today is an extremely rainy, dangerous day to be out. I mean, just look at this storm. This is just clearly too dangerous to try to pack Fern up and send her home on. And, you know, maybe this isn't the best time to go ahead and try to contact her family. So uh, Fern has instead been uh, just chilling again. And she thought they were going to spend all day long doing a bunch of work. And she got really discouraged when she couldn't get the fabricator to work yesterday. And instead, when she woke up and went upstairs to talk to Kelsey about, like, I don't know, our concepts, are we really going to be able to make this happen? And the fabricator was on the fritz yesterday. Am I really good enough to be able to do any of this? When she expressed that kind of lack of confidence to Kelsey, Kelsey immediately dragged her out to go out on the town. Because Fern, it's Saturday. We don't need to worry about those things today. Look, one of the most important things about doing this activism work is that you do not want to burn yourself out. You need to take good care of yourself in order to be able to help others. A deep bit of wisdom that uh, Kelsey wants to share and uh, it has brought us to the karaoke bar because Gene wanted to do a little bit of singing since he does want to you know he's kind of proud of his voice and he's hoping that'll lead to something. Liliana is not with us though because she is actually playing video games by herself after taking a bubble bath and that has made her ridiculously happy and it's also talk like a pirate day. So Kelsey has once again succeeded in distracting Fern away from calling her parents but Really, how long can this evasion last before they start coming looking for her and tracking her down through any means? We'll have to see. Uh, but for now, we're actually gonna go ahead, like Fern is having a good time. She's watching Jean, he seems to be having a good time. Like everybody's happy. Let's go ahead and watch the karaoke. Kelsey's having a great time. She wants to get her confidence up. She wants to get her fun up. She actually wants to sing a karaoke duet. So I'm hoping that she'll even be able to have a duet with Fern. Because she totally convinced Fern to try new things. We've already tried so many other new things. Why not this too? Because I think that would go over well. But they seem to be doing pretty good. Show off muscles to someone. <laughs> Win a game of darts. Play foosball. Fern, yeah, look at her. She's actually really happy. Oh my gosh, really, Fern? Okay, that's kind of adorable. 
I really love, oh, I wish we could visit with the mixologist, but for some reason it doesn't seem like we can. Uh, Fern actually wants to meet someone new of all things, like what the heck? Uh, but yeah, so things are going really well. A little bit of karaoke. Uh, Gene, how you doing? Gene's coming over to get himself this wrench, which is the perfect drink to get perfect juice based drink of course ahem, to go ahead and get on talk like a pirate day which he's extremely excited about and you know what Kelsey let's go ahead and let's have her come on over let's sing a country duet with Fern I I just love that idea I love that she'd be like come on Fern you're a country girl right teach me the best country song you've got but they're just going to take it easy for a minute. And even though Fern feels like, aren't we supposed to be like doing activist work? Aren't I supposed to be fussing up to my parents like where I'm at? It's important to have fun. Even if... <laughs> Go away, sir. <laughs> even if that fun is a little bit questionable. Oh, this guy's sad. Oh, and Jean's trying to make him happy. Jean, you are so freaking adorable. Let's ask where the wind blows. He's gonna talk like a pirate to this guy. Uh, and then... Maybe gossip about booty. And then let's try it. Let's try to do like a joke. Let's do like a funny joke with him. And do an impression to try to get him feeling happy. And dude, I wish you would get like out of our way. Alright, let's have these two add to group and go this way. Because maybe I want to get this Deandre here out of our zone. Come on, Deandre. A little further. Let the girls sing. And then we're going to go ahead and disband this group. I just needed to get him out of the way. Alright, did you guys have fun? <laughs> I feel like that was awesome. You know, sometimes you just have to, let's brighten day and let's compliment outfit, but also like compliment like the singing. Cause I think that was really cute. There we go. Oh, I think they're having fun. Look, and Fern wants to dance to some stereo music now. That's just delightful. I hope they had a great time. But yeah, so we're learning all about, oh, and what's this? Use a bold pickup light on someone? Really? Really? Okay, we're gonna try that out. Because I feel like Fern is just feeling, let's use bold pickup line. Fern's like, that was a lot of fun. You're a great singer. And this is a great opportunity to not think about, like, work for a little while, to not worry about things for a little while. Okay, that was really cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, was that like a little western? Pickup line. <gasps> but that actually gave them. Oh, I forgot how the pickup line is so strong. Now they actually have a little bit of a romance boost. Oh, heck. But not a flirty boost or anything. Alright, let's see. Can we show off proposed crazy scheme? Maybe show off muscles. We'll just go and joke along with the whole country girl thing. Maybe Fern is kind of like taking cover with the idea of just being a country girl as a way to kind of laugh all of this off. And it looks like the wrenches are just like being made non-stop. Here, I'm even gonna let Fern go ahead and maybe grab that drink. Oh no, oh what's this? <gasps> We're feeling flirty over here. Heck. Meanwhile, Fern's just super happy. She wants to compliment someone. There's a bunch of new people we could go ahead and greet you. All right, let's compliment. Compliment cut of the jib. To kind of just let Fern run wild with kind of playing with the whole, the whole idea of like, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, she's even gonna order a little fruit drink herself. But yeah, I'm gonna let Fern go ahead and just like run wild with the idea of being like a country girl, making pirate jokes. She's even ordering a fruit drink. Oh. She's she's starting to feel more cozy with all this. Also, I like I like this girl. Oh, this is actually a thief. This is Cherry of the Cherry Picked Group. I totally forgot we made her, but she's actually a thief from San Myshudo, who might just be visiting some friends here. You know, she makes her money illegally, but only in San Myshudo. That's her town, after all. 
She might be fun to make friends of. All right, let's compliment again. Compliment cut of the jib again. Oh, what's this? Make a friend! Oh, and friend wants to make a new- Wait, she's just- she's jumping all over the place. She's in between confident and everything else. Um, uh, yeah, compliment outfit. There, that'll work. And is this fern's drink? The sweet and spicy. Okay, I actually think that's fern's drink right here. Or maybe it's the soft shadow Aaron Lord. What the heck? These are amazing. And then tell unbelievable story. Cherry's leaving. Alright, let's tell an unbelievable story. Let's see. Also, who is singing now? Because he has actually got some talent. Oh my gosh. Where's our unbelievable story? Unbelievable story. Crazy scheme. Muscles. Okay, I think unbelievable story is missing for now. Uh, what's this? Meet someone new. Okay. Oh, now we lost. I should have used the little kiss boost while we had a chance. What's this? <gasps> Compliment, mighty fine garb. That's so cute. Oh, it's paparazzi again. Oh, hey, we know this person. She's taking pictures of that famous celebrity. Hey, I bet Jean would want to go ahead and meet her. Let's use a bold pickup line on the paparazzi. Let's do it. Because I think he's like, wow, that's really cool. I think innocent Jean would just be like, that's awesome. Meanwhile, Judith Ward over there, the global superstar, is really upset. Also, I really hope pictures of Judith Ward and Fern sitting at a karaoke bar together don't get out <laughs> to her family. Not that any of the green people would be into whatever Judith Ward's into, I'm sure. She's attracted a fan. Oh! This woman's feeling tense. Um, start a new- what?! What?! Our little freegan has decided that he wants to start a new career. I bet that I bet that Anika here just asked, so what's your job? And he's like, I don't have one. And she's like, um, what? So you know what? Let's actually have him maybe register with the Ministry of Labor and make up a job on the spot. That sounds amazing. We're going to make him be a recycle expert and maybe he's going to start working on his fabrication skill. Because I think that that's just, he's like feeling, feeling a bit of the brunt of it. And feeling kind of judged and he's like going to just make up a job instantly. So we're going to call him freelance recycle a tier. Uh, recycle a, a tier, like musketeer, but recycle a tier. Uh, do you have trash? Uh, we can transform, trans, form it into treasure today. There we go. He just started a whole new job so that he can go ahead and try to like, ask to rock boat, compliment mighty fine garb, unfurl sails, ask if single. Uh, let's go ahead and use a pickup line. And then because he's trying to be kind of funny, we'll uh, maybe ask to rock boat. Oh, he's doing a terrible job with these pickup lines. Oh, painful, painful, painful. All right, let's send our boy Jean off to go like to the restroom for a minute. I think he needs a minute to try to recover from how embarrassed he is. And then somebody's feeling tense from being cooped up. Oh, and she's not- <gasps> The rain has stopped! Oh my gosh! The rain has indeed stopped. And once again, I have missed out uh, on trying to get them to have a chance to flirt. But you know what? Since she's feeling cooped up and she's- Oh, she even had a little bit of a soothing drink. Relax in a sauna. That's not- that's not available at the moment. Neither is a mud bath. Uh, let's actually have them go upstairs and play. Maybe if she goes upstairs to, like, play with everybody, she'll be able to relax a little bit. Let's go play with Kelsey. Because I think Kelsey wants to, like, watch a foosball game, too. We're not going to buy a bee box. All of you people need to just relax with the whole bee box thing. And Kelsey wants to tell an insider story. Alright, this is, this is going pretty cute. Not quite where I thought it was going to go. But, you know... 
Fern's having a great day. And I, I think that we're gonna actually let Fern go ahead and maybe reflect on what she actually wants out of life with the rewards store. So previously, Fern had been saving up for the super green thumb and she had been trying to figure out ways that she could use all of her farming knowledge to really just have a farm. She never really thought she wanted to be with anybody, you know, as friends or anything else because, you know, she wanted to need no one, right? That's what she was building up all this time and trying to work towards. But now, being able to be here and see yet another one of the renovated factories that has been transformed into a karaoke bar that she's actually really enjoying, even if it's not something outside, I feel like Fern might be thinking about having some different kinds, some different kinds of skills soon. So we're going to bring her over here. We're going to bring Kelsey over as well. Let's tell an insider story. There we go. Oh, and then let's compliment Fern. Brighten day. And then let's see. Compliment outfit. Yeah, compliment outfit, I think, is the best one we've got. Look at them. Now they're playing a little bit of foosball. Does that increase? Yeah, it's increasing their fun. That's so fun. All right. Meanwhile, what are you going? <laughs> Getting 40 winks. Oh, that's so cute. He's trying to get a nap. He Gene is off to go sleep in the dumpster where he feels like his attempts at flirting belong. You doing okay, Gene? Oh, here he goes. He wants a nap in the dumpster. I love him. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, we'll come on over here. Did we win the foosball game? We won the foosball game. Woo! All right. Now everybody is feeling confident. I think that there were just too many people downstairs for Fern to feel super comfy. So instead, we're going to come over here. Let's see. Propose. You know what? And we're going to have Kelsey really boost Fern's ego again. She's going to point out, you know what, Fern? You've just been doing great. We're going to brighten her day. And we're going to let Fern know, like, we're going to enthuse about fabrication. And then we're going to... Let's compliment the cut of her jib. Compliment the cut of the jib. And we're going to propose a crazy scheme and suggest to Fern, like, you know what, Fern? Don't give up yet. Because, oh, that's so cute. Don't give up yet. I know Fern didn't get any inspiration from chatting about Fern with, uh, Kelsey didn't get any inspiration from chatting with Fern about fabrication. Darn it. But we're going to go ahead and Kelsey is going to say, look, Fern, I know that we didn't have the best day with our fabrication attempts yesterday and the fabrication machine seemed to be on the fritz, but sometimes things just don't work out the way you plan. And that's okay because that doesn't mean you failed. It just means we get to try again. And I'm going to let that encourage Fern quite a bit because she's feeling super confident. She's happy. She's able to like see things the way that she's not really been able to before. She did things today that she never expected of herself. So we're going to come into the reward store and I've been thinking about this for a while and we're going to give Fern a little bit of a boost. We're going to give her creative visionary because I really feel like all of the the creative works that she wants to try to attempt like writing out all of those plans for making a really great field of free range cow plants uh we're gonna give that to her as a boost because she has thought more creatively being here and trying to make sense of how to help the town than she has in a very long time so we're gonna give that to her and we're going to go ahead and uh Think about maybe giving her the entrepreneurial little boost as well because she has been doing so well. She feels like because she failed yesterday at getting what, done what she wanted, she failed entirely. But look at her. Look at her. She's just blasting through everything and doing a great job at it. And Kelsey really wants to go ahead and encourage Fern and remind her, you've done fantastic. And in fact, oh, Fern has so done hard. so well that Kelsey is going to have a bit of an announcement with the crazy scheme. Uh, in fact, we'll let her get to the crazy scheme. Brighton day, insider story. Where's the crazy scheme? There we go. Propose crazy schemes. 
She's going to propose a crazy scheme to Fern that Fern had no idea about. Almost there, almost there. They're just taking their sweet time talking about cleaning things. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. But she's going to propose a crazy scheme. Fern, I know that you need to return to your family soon and get back to work on uh, everything that's going on over in Brightchester. I am not going to be one to hold you back from your education after all. And I, all I can do is just say thank you so much for all of the work you've done so far. But hear me out. I've got something I want you to hear about. So, tomorrow is actually going to be a town hall presentation. And we are going to send these two to a town hall where they are going to do their best to give a speech, to give out gifts from their fabricated attempts, and to convince everybody there to really sign on to the Green Way Initiative. So that's our current goal. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to have potentially Fern's ahem, totally ahem, last day in Evergreen Harbor be going with Kelsey to a town hall presentation because Kelsey feels like Fern has what it takes to help swing the action of this area into newer green ways. So that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to it. All right. And I think that the time has come, guys. We're actually going to send the girls home. We're going to... Hello, random person who's a fan. Okay. You know, Kelsey, Kelsey really can't resist the chance to potentially introduce herself to more people. Yay! We've talked like a pirate. And you know what? Oh, look at that big reputation boost. We're going to go ahead and let Fern just be kind of playful and mimic and talk like a pirate too. All right, come on. Say hello. Did we get talk like a pirate for Fern too? Ahoy, me matey. This is just a random teen. Oh, that's a huge storm. All right, let's ask where the wind blows just to show that we can totally be cool and like into all of this fun stuff too. But all right, guys, I'm going to send these two home so that they can spend the rest of the night, potentially Fern's last night here, preparing for, uh, even though I keep saying that, ahem, ahem, preparing for the town hall presentation that is actually coming up. Um, and you know what? We're going to go ahead and... Compliment Mighty Fine Garb, Ask to Rock Boat, un what's unfurl sales? Let's tell it, Fern's gonna joke about that, like she's gonna joke about unfurling sales, <laughs> whatever that kind of flirtation is, as a way to be like, all right, you know what? It's ridiculous. I would have never seen myself getting in front of anyone to like present at a town hall, but you know what? Why not? Ah, it's so cute. I love it, and now we have completed, now we have completed talking like a pirate. All right, guys. All right, time to send them home. Let me collect Gene. Oh, he's in the dumpster. I love you, Gene. And then when we come back, we will be crafting up a bunch of items, see how far we can make it on showing these guys that, you know, they've got what it takes to be master fabricators, I'm sure. And then we're going to uh, see how the town hall presentation do goes once we get them there, too. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for Jean in the dumpster. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.